Hebrews. And these are the two genealogies that is going to play a big part in the origin of uh, the human history. Now I'm going to go into how the angels interbred with the Adamites. 72,000 years BK. Now in the book of Jehovah chapter 6, verse 17 through 20, it states, And I said, Go ye forth and partake of all that is on the earth, but partake ye not of the tree of life, lest in that labor you become procreators, and as if dead to the heavens whence ye came. Verse 18. But those who had never learned corporeal things, being imperfect in wisdom, comprehended not Jehovah's words, and they dwelt with the Adamites, and were tempted, and partook of the fruit of the tree of life. And lo and behold, they saw their own nakedness, and there was born of the first race, Adam, a new race, called man. And Jehovah took the earth out of the travel of Simu, and the angels gave up their corporeal bodies. Verse 19, and Jehovah said, Because ye have raised up those that shall be joint hairs in heaven, ye shall tread the earth with your feet and walk by the sides of the newborn, being guardian angels over them. For they are of your own flesh and kin. Verse 20. Fruit of your seed have I quickened with my spirit. And man shall come forth with a birthright to my Etherean worlds. Now, where it states not to partake of the tree of life was addressed to the angels to not partake in sexual acts with the homo erectus. And the tree of life is the reproductive organs, the vagina and penis, and the angels were equipped with these organs as no different from the homo erectus. And it was some of the angels that were tempted and partook of the tree of life, meaning they had intercourse with the homo erectus. And the crossbreeding of the two seeds produced a new race called man, or homo sapiens. And by Jehovah's command, the angels were to give up their corporeal bodies and to be seen no more, but to be as guardian angels over the newborn race that came from their own flesh and blood. So here reveals the missing link of the Homo erectus to the Homo sapiens. It was a crossbreed of angels and Homo erectus that brought forth the Homo sapien or the new race. And this is what Doran's theory could not figure out, how man went from Homo erectus to Homo sapien. Now we know that it was a crossbreed of bloodlines between Adam and angels. And with that, I'd like to say peace and blessings and catch you on the next documentary called The Genealogy of the Human Race. Shalom.